Welcome back guys, this is Power Surge here bringing you another one of these drawing videos. Now this time is going to be a little special because this is another collab I'm doing between me and a friend of mine who refers to themselves as Shadow Craze 423 I think I got that right. So the purpose of this collaboration was more or less an art swap. I made a drawing, she made a drawing, and then we kind of switched with each other and redid them digitally. A few weeks ago she took a drawing I made and redid it digitally so now I'm bringing you a drawing that she gave me and redid digitally. This drawing at first when I started inking it out was a little hard to do because um, I, when I sent her my picture my picture was mostly done. The picture she sent me wasn't in the final stage of sketching it was still a rough sketch so I kind of I'm not saying that was a bad thing it gave me more liberty in what I was able to do. All in all, um, most of the things I'd like to focus on this drawing is, um, oh wait, no, I have to talk about a few things. This drawing may look a little unfinished, as per se, the, um, the zombie hands and the guns, and that has to do with a technical problem I ran into while making this video, which has to do with, um, my tablet kind of broke at the last moment, so I wasn't able to finish this, but with what I was able to do. This drawing came out relatively nice, lots of very depressed looking colors. Yeah, this character is going to die. This character is going to straight up die. Do you not see how many zombies are coming in? I don't even think the character, do you see that box of ammo right next, right to the left? It was supposed to say something, but like I said, I didn't, I couldn't finish it. Yeah, this character is going to die. And in the design process, I got a little creative with the, um, the looks of the zombies like for example the one in the far left with that giant eye just pulsing up there was um in the sketch there was a very roughed out zombie around there so in that one spot where there's um where there's that zombie head with its eyes protruding out of the, um, out of the wood originally it was supposed to only be a single eye covering the entire thing with blood coming out of it now, that idea sounds good, but when you put it in color, it doesn't really fit unless you know co know how to use color, which I won't say I know how to use color all that well. All I found was like a color theory video and I was like, hey, look, that's interesting. I can incorporate that. Horrible, horrible incorporation most of the time. And then whenever I do get it right, it's um, it's accidental. Which is why I switched the eye with an actual zombie head, drew it in, and then pushed it behind the, um, the wood. Now there was a, in the drawing there was a lot more hands that should have been in there. And for those of you guys who caught on the little detail, details I put in. Well there's not really a, lot, a whole lot of little details other than the water, the quality soup, and the backpack. Little detail I did. I. A little detail I put in there was the little eyes inside the character. Now if you watch 28 weeks later you may know where that reference is to. If you haven't then that's completely, it's a meaningless thing to point out. The color of the character which revolves around, you know, green hoodie, bright green hoodie and navy blue pants. Bright green hoodie, I don't know why bright green hoodie. I just put a hoodie because that's, I should have made it a dollar green. Yeah, it should have been a dollar green. I'll, I could probably fix that up in post. Should have been a dollar green. Jeans go good and the type of shoes go ne neat. And this person has all the um, necessary stuff you could live off. He got a knife, an empty box of ammo, a hammer, a single can of quality soup. A walkie-talkie that probably isn't even functional. Cockroach right there, a white cockroach. It's quality waters. Inside a room where they're probably gonna most likely die. Yeah, there's really no hope at all in this photo. I, I, I made sure to incorporate that into the face. Half of the face is like, I'm determined to live, while the other half is like, yeah, we're gonna die. All in all, this piece came together really nice. I enjoyed the challenge that he gave me. I'd like to thank Shadow Craze for giving me the opportunity to make 
a drawing like this, or help finish a drawing like this. And all in all, it was pretty fun all the way through. This photo looks creepy. It's like a lot of hopelessness. Dead. No way to survive. Yeah, this 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 is a very depressing photo. The one I made for her was the um, was the um, beautiful crime, the beautiful crime one. If I didn't say in the thing, and <laughs> that one was like when she gave me that one. It was I was making something where it's like okay she wants two people incorporated in there and she um, was gonna use a song called partner crime so I was thinking okay let's do this in perspective let's make the one person spray painting the butterfly graffitiing the wall look back at the person who's viewing the art and give like a kind of smile to it now what I was going for with that was that the person who's graffitiing would look back at the viewer like I just said right now and the viewer would be the partner in crime essentially witnessing everything happen but also be a part of the crime and that's where like um, that's why I made it in the way that that's why I sketched it in the way that I did this one just looks depressing it looks really depressing not like not depressing in the sense that it, like it's a bad drawing because it's a good drawing it just looks depressing as in this person's gonna die yeah, this person is just gonna straight up die. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys. And bye.